a chip smaller than a grain of sand could shift the balance of global power. A tiny piece of silicon, invisible to the naked eye, suddenly capable of changing the course of history. Not just a technological achievement, but a symbol of geopolitical upheaval. That world isn't hypothetical, it's already here. China has done the impossible. Against all odds sand under heavy U.S. sanctions it has reportedly developed a 3 nanometer chip. A breakthrough so unexpected and so advanced that it sent shockwaves across Silicon Valley and global supply chains. The question everyone is asking, how? How did China manage to pull off a feat that should have been out of reach, without access to the most advanced chip-making tools in the world? And what does this mean for the future of technology, global markets, and the fragile balance of international power? Stick around because this story is bigger than just a chip. It's a turning point. And the twist at the end might change the way you think about innovation forever. Let's dive into the story that's turning the tech world upside down. Semiconductors are the invisible engines of our digital lives. They power your phone, your laptop, your smart appliances, your car. They're the beating heart of artificial intelligence, military defense systems, and space exploration. In the semiconductor world, size is everything. The smaller the chip's process node, measured in nanometers, the faster and more efficient it becomes. For decades, Western tech giants TSMC, Intel, Samsung led the race to make chips smaller, faster, and more powerful. Hitting the 3 nanometer mark was considered a pinnacle of performance and engineering precision. Meanwhile, since 2022, the United States had doubled down on sanctions to choke China's semiconductor ambitions. These sanctions targeted critical technology, especially extreme ultraviolet, EUV, lithography, machine as vital equipment needed to manufacture chips below 5 nanometers. Without EUV, the world assumed China would be stuck with older, less advanced chips limited to 14 nanometers and above. That limitation would have kept China behind in AI, military tech, and next-gen consumer electronics. But instead of slowing down, China moved faster. Against every expectation, SMIC China's leading semiconductor manufacturers reportedly built a 3 nanometers class chip using older deep ultraviolet, DUV, lithography machines. That's like building a modern spacecraft with vintage tool sand, somehow making it fly. They accomplished this through a highly advanced process called self-aligned quadruple patterning, or SAQP. This method allows them to etch incredibly fine features metal pitches down to 21 to 24 nanometers close to what EUV can achieve. This level of precision lets them produce chips that compete directly with the best in the world. The implications are staggering. These chips are already powering Huawei's next-gen processors, from smartphone chips like the Kirin to high-performance AI chips like the Ascend series. These aren't theoretical. They're real, functional, shipping and devices. Instead of stalling China's progress, sanctions may have triggered a surge of homegrown innovation, a quiet revolution that no one saw coming. At the center of this breakthrough is a man named Ling Mong, co-CEO of SMIC, and a semiconductor veteran with experience at both TSMC and Samsung. His leadership has been instrumental in pushing SMIC's R&D team to achieve what many thought was impossible. Unlike EUV, which uses extremely fine ultraviolet light to carve tiny patterns on silicon, DUV relies on an older, less precise method. It's slower, more complex, and requires multiple steps to reach the same result. But Liang and his team figured out how to make it work. And not just barely, they achieved production yields that stunned industry analysts. This wasn't just a technical win, it was a statement. Proof that when backed into a corner, human ingenuity and a whole lot of national will can overcome what once seemed like unbreakable barriers. Huawei also played a critical role. Despite being blacklisted by the U.S. since 2019, the company co-developed and patented advanced SAQP methods alongside SMIC. Their partnership is a clear sign of coordinated strategy, not just scattered resistance. Other state-supported companies like Cycarrier, are now developing domestic alternatives to the once foreign supplied chip making machines. This isn't about playing catch up anymore. 
It's about building a completely independent tech ecosystem. Billions of dollars are now flowing into China's semiconductor sector. From research labs to manufacturing fabs, from university programs to AI startups, the ecosystem is evolving rapidly. And it's beginning to pay off. And this brings us to the stakes. This isn't just a story about a smaller, faster chip. It's a geopolitical event. Advanced semiconductors are the foundation for AI, 5G, autonomous vehicles, surveillance systems, and military weaponry. Whoever controls this technology controls the future. The 3 nanometers chip is more than a breakthrough, it's a warning shot. If China can mass produce it, Western dominance in the chip industry could face a real threat. The U.S. intended its sanctions to block China's rise. Instead, they may have accelerated it. Since 2018, China has doubled its share of the world's most cited semiconductor research papers, now leading the U.S. in some key areas. Innovation hasn't stopped. It's shifted. The Western response has been increasingly desperate. In 2024, New rounds of sanctions targeted over 200 Chinese firms, including several Huawei partners. But it's proving hard to plug every hole. Backdoor trade routes, reluctant allies, and black markets have softened the blow. Countries like Japan and the Netherlands, once aligned with strict U.S. export controls, have shown signs of hesitation. Meanwhile, China continues to quietly import the equipment and materials it needs, before restrictions tighten further. At home, China is launching a $410 billion chip investment wave, fueling everything from new fabrication plants to elite engineering programs. This is a national strategy now and it's long term. The United States, already worried about losing its edge in AI and defense, is watching as once unshakable companies like NVIDIA and TSMC face increasing competition not just in performance, but in pricing and supply. And here's the kicker. Rumors are circulating that China is already prototyping 2 nanometers technology. If true, this means the 3 nanometers chip isn't the final frontier, it's just the beginning. If China finds a way to master EUV, or develop a functional alternative, it could render sanctions obsolete. It would signal the end of the West's monopoly on leading-edge chip production. Experts now estimate China could achieve parity in 5 to 7 years depending on continued investments and breakthroughs. The Mate 60 Pro and its surprise 7 nanometers chip was a wake-up call. The 3 nanometers chip is the siren. And what does this all mean for the rest of us? This isn't just a story for governments or corporations. It's about you. The devices you use, the technologies you rely on, the prices you pay for everything from smartphones to smart cars. A more competitive Chinese chip industry could lower prices and expand access to powerful technology. But it also raises new concerns about cybersecurity, about global dependency, about the security of supply chains during times of conflict. Will the U.S. double down on sanctions, or will it pivot to out-innovate? Will the chip war escalate, or will it force a new era of collaboration and balance? And when AI, military systems, and critical infrastructure begin running on Chinese-designed chips, what will that mean for national security and global diplomacy? These aren't just questions for tomorrow. They're already shaping the decisions of today. If this story opened your eyes to what's really going on in the tech world, don't keep it to yourself. Like, share, and spread the word. Your support helps us keep diving deep into game-changing stories like this one. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Are you rooting for China, for the West, or are you just here for the drama and the innovation? What tech story should we break down next quantum computing, AI warfare, or the rise of chiplets? Let's keep this conversation alive. Because one thing's for sure, the chip war is just heating up, and the next move could come from anywhere. Stay curious. Stay bold. Stay revolutionary.